Waomba o wana baraka wale waomba o na Yesu mwenye we alisema ambieni wate So the word of God this morning is in the book of Revelation chapter 12, verse 1 to 3, and verse 4b, 4c. The Bible says, A great and wondrous sign appear in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under the, his, her feet, and a crown of twelve stars on her head. She was pregnant and cried out in pain as she was about to give birth. Verse 4c says that the dragon stood in front of the woman who was about to give birth so that he made devour her a child the moment it was born. Many times, God wants to bless us. Many times, God wants to give us blessings. The Bible says, when the morning is near, well, that's when it's too dark. God comes in the 11th hour. When the morning is too near, it's when it's very, very dark, you don't see. Many times, the blessing of God, when it is on the way, that is when the trials are very hard. So the devil know and understand because the devil is a spirit and God is spirit. The devil was an angel of God. He was in charge of worship in heaven. He was Lucifer. His name was Lucifer, the morning star. He was drawn here because and that, if you read in this chapter, you see he was drawn down with the that of the angel to come to the world waiting for his, for his doom day because he's already judged for internal fire. And he came here to deceive. So the devil can see your blessing coming. Our, our message today is how the devil steal our blessing. When the devil, when does he come? When, is the, when, he, when, I, when does the devil attack you most? The devil can predict. He can see because he's a spirit. When your blessing are very near, that when the devil hit you hard. And when you are about to give birth to your blessing. He is stand, ready to take it and steal it, to kill and destroy. The Bible says, the devil come with remission to you. It doesn't matter what he give you, whether it's billions of money, whether it's chocolate, whether it's milkshake, whether it is meat pie, whatever you love, his mission when he come to you is to steal, to kill, and to destroy what God have destined and predestined to you, for you, according to the promises of God. The devil come to steal, to kill, and destroy. He know when the blessing is near. That a woman was clothed with the sun. A great and wondrous sign appeared in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun and with the moon under the, the feet and a, twelve, a crown of twelve stars on her head. And, and she was pregnant and cried out in pain as she was about to give birth. We know the sun is, is something to do with the hotness. The sun is hot. It produces hot heat. So when you're about to be breast, the devil, you go through fight trial. You are being burned because the enemy is trying to burn you to try to steal your blessing. The devil wants to steal your blessing. So you crawl with the sun. You are growing in pain. You are growing in pain. You are going through hardship. You are going through harsh trial. So it's like a woman crawled with the sun. And this verse can also talk about the end time judgment of the people of God. The church of God will be judged and will be going through groins, through pain. It will be like they are about to give birth. 
And you go through five trials through the dark judgment days. Through the devil attack us when the blessing are near. When we are about to be blessed. And he stood in front of a woman, according to first chapter, verse 4, 12, 4, that he stood in front of a woman who was about to give birth so that he may devour her a child and the moment she was born. The devil, when you're about to give your blessing, when you're about to be blessed by God, when you're about to give birth to, to prosperity, to good job, to, 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 when you're about to give birth, to good things, good tidings, when you're about to be blessed, when you're about to get that promotion, when you're about to get that money you've been praying for, when you're about to get that child, when you're about to marry, to get the wife of your dream, when you're about to be blessed, when you're about to reach a marriage stage in your life, when you're about to be mature as a Christian, when you're about for your marriage to reach a marriage stage, that's when the devil attack you most. When you are vulnerable, that's when the devil attack you most. When the distress in marriage, when the stage of marriage is going through, when you are about to reach and grow and cross the border to the marriage stage, the devil attack you in all sides. He comes into the workplace. He comes into the church. He comes into your family. He comes through your sister. He comes through your brother. Through him everywhere. So because you know your morning is near, you are about to give birth. You are about to be blessed by God. When you have been praying for that job, when you're about to get it, that's when the devil is trying to disorient you. When you're about to be blessed by God. When you're about to, to get that business you have been praying for. When you're about to get that prod. When you're about to get those money to buy that prod you have been dreaming for. That's when the devil attack you. When you're about to be joined with your people who you lift, help you to lift you up. When you're about to be blessed. That's when the devil is about to steal your blessing. The devil come with three mission to steal, to kill, and destroy. But Jesus came that we may have life and have it in abundance. The Bible says that the devil is a roaming lion seeking whom to devour. It is a lion that is very hungry, very hungry, seeking whom to devour, whom to steal, whom to kill. He will never last for the saints of God. Somebody asks in the Bible, he planted seed, good seeds, and when they sprouted and germinated, bad seed grew, and he asked the Lord, who planted the bad seed? And God told him, the enemy has done this. You plant good seed, when you're about to reap those blessings, the enemy come and plant bad seed. You have a garden, you planted good seed, and the enemy come and plant bad seed. And the farmer asked, who planted bad seed? And God told him, the enemy has done this. The devil is jealousy. He's always never sleep for you. When you plant good seed, when you pray for that job, when you pray for that family, when you pray for that husband, when you pray for that partner, when you pray, when you're about to get it, when you're about to give birth to that blessing you'll be praying for, the enemy attack you faithfully, faithfully, toughly, confuse you, distress you, so you, don't, you miss your blessing. And he confuses you. He can confuse you with the chocolate. He can confuse you with, with things that please you, so you get lost on the way. But the Bible says in Jeremiah 29 verses 11 that God always have good plan for us. We need to Pray God when that thing, when that thing happens and God is going to bless us. God going to prevent the enemy. When we pray, God takes over. When we pray, God takes over. When we boast and have pride, God goes away. The Bible, humble yourself before the Lord that he may lift you up. The Bible says, pray without ceasing in spirit in all occasion, according to Romans chapter 8. That pray without ceasing, in spirit, in our occasion, that we may be able to withstand. Roman chapter, chapter, Ephesians chapter 6, sorry, it says Ephesians chapter 6, that we pray without ceasing. It says we pray and in spirit, in our occasion, we put the whole armor of God. Roman chapter 6, Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10, we put the whole armor of God. That when the days of evil come, when the distress come, when you are about to get that blessing, when the enemy is about to steal your blessing, you can stand. That is the days of evil. When you are about to be blessed, when the distress come, you can stand. You can stand. You stand your ground with the armor of God. 
with the best breath of truth allowed your waist. With the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. The devil fear the word of God. Jesus told the devil, it is written. The devil fear the word. When we know the word, the devil uses the word, but we need to know the word. We counteract the devil cheating with the word of God, with the truth we know. He told Jesus that the Bible says when you, you throw yourself, the angel will hold you. According to Psalm 91. And the, Jesus told the devil during the temptation in 40 days in the desert when he was fasting that, that do not test the Lord your God. Be according to Exodus or Genesis, the Bible says never test the Lord your God. Jesus knew the scripture and he contracted the devil quoting of Psalm 91 that, uh, of, uh, that the angel will hold you when you throw yourself. So he, wanted, he was using the scripture to confuse our Messiah. And Jesus quoted the Bible. We need the word of God, the sword of the spirit to destroy the enemy. He is fear the world. We need to pray in spirit that we may not walk with the old nature, because we need the new nature of God, born of God. First Corinthians five seventeen. We need to walk with the new nature, that is no longer bound to sin. The devil steal your blessing. The woman was clothed with the sun when he was about to give birth. The devil stood in front of the woman, led to steal his child. The devil always mission is to steal your blessing. Pray without ceasing that your blessing will not be stolen by the enemy. When you're about to receive that blessing, that's when the devil is attacking you most, confuse you with confusion, with weakness, try to give you good things to confuse you, so you lose your blessing, showing your blessing is bad, so you lose it, showing your blessing is not there. Eleven hour, that's when the God comes. The morning is near. When the morning is near, that is when it's too dark. When the sorrow may last for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Know that. When you're about to get that blessing, the devil is standing in front of you, ready to steal it. So what do we do? Sometimes we may feel weak, powerless. We need to pray. When we pray, God take over. When we pray, and Paul and Sarah prayed, and the saints of God, the church prayed honestly. When Paul was in prison, they prayed honestly, and the chains were broken. And even the one day prayed to God. We miss the password, prayer. Singing, walking with the word of God, walking in the spirit, according to 1 Corinthians 5.17, walking with the spirit of God, a life born of God, our body is vulnerable to sin. We need to empower the spirit man, walk in spirit. Uh, an area we struggle as human to walk in spirit. When we walk with the body, we fall. The devil attack us. The devil always steals your blessing. We need to walk with the word of God. That's when the morning is near. The devil target your blessing. When you're about to give birth to your blessing, that's when the devil is attacking you to steal you, to confuse you with some good tidings, with some good things that look good, but they are not. 
They are bubbles. The devil give you bubbles. Bubbles. The bubble, when you, the children draw bubble in the air, they look spectacular, but they last for a while. They last for a short time. The bubble may look spectacular. The devil give you bubbles of life that are short-lived, but they, will, they aim for your destruction. The bubble lasts in the air for a short while. What bubble is the devil giving you? To steal that blessing that is about to be given to you by God. Pray without ceasing. We may not see what is happening behind the curtain. We see dim light. But we need to pray God save his people. The Bible says in Revelation, God will not allow us to know the deep secret of power of darkness. But he will deliver us. God will deliver his own people. Be blessed in Jesus' mighty name.